I'm just going to be showing you that um, what's new in Parallels 7 desktop for Mac Parallels Desktop 7 for Mac um, this is basically it, Parallels Desktop 7 when you open it you get sort of this window here uh, you choose which system you want to run alongside your Mac, you can run all of them if you want, if, you have, if your computer can run it so at the moment I'm running, I it actually comes with um, the option to download Chrome OS you, as you see I'm downloading Ubuntu Linux uh, also from here you can choose to download Fedora uh, and also you can add other existing virtual machines if you wish uh, you can migrate Windows from a PC you can install uh, this is a, this is the uh, one of the uh, most interesting most, most exciting new features that um, that come with uh, Parallel 7 is that you can install Windows from a DVD um, or an image file as you see without having to install it first on your Mac like you had to, you had to before before you had we had to install it on boot camp and then um, run or install Parallels and then uh, detect Windows from there but now you don't have to do that you can just use Parallels to actually install Windows which is very it's very handy if um, you don't have a CD drive for example if your computer is doesn't, doesn't have a CD drive um, you can just install it from an image uh, so that's pretty handy anyway so I downloaded Chrome this morning and it's running at the moment like I said and I'll show you how it's running here we go this is not Google Chrome this is actually Chrome OS so see here you get your applications etc you get chess books Facebook Twitter you these, these are basically the basic bookmarks that come with uh, Chrome OS yeah you've got some options here uh, you also get you can use Google Plus from here that's me uh, it looks very similar to um, Google Chrome of course but that's why it's <laughs> called Google, uh, Chrome OS you get your Google Docs you get Yahoo Mail if you open something that opens in a new tab now it's loading as you see I'm running it in a full screen when ignore the noise in the background that's vacuum cleaner anyway so it's running in full screen now as you see from here this is one of the lion features it's compatible with lion OS so I can make it this basically is my Chrome OS if I were in a window sized or I can this is on my on top of my desktop here or I can make it full screen one of the most exciting features of the Lion or Mac OS that I like so now it's in its own space and I switch back to my desktop here just like that and of course I can also run Windows at the same time if I want I can switch between two three systems but I'm running only on two gigabytes I don't think my system can handle it really <laughs> um, that's a Core 2 dual processor I have as well um, so yeah and let's let's give Windows 7 a go and see how it runs if, uh, this is actually just a trial version of um, Parallel 7 um, so as you see you can get it for free try it for 14 days absolutely free which is about 90 US dollars um, okay so Windows 7 is starting up as you see from here you can also run it in full screen which is very very nice so it's like oh it's automatically actually going it's remembering my last settings uh, oh yeah of course as usual I always <laughs> didn't shut down properly so I forced it shut I 
bring up and the Google Chrome here. It's probably because of the lack of limited resources on my uh, on my Mac. Yes, Windows 7 is starting up. You can also, if you don't like to run it in full screen, one of the other features of Parallels, not just 7, on the bottom here in, in your dock, in the top. Um, and basically you can run Windows and Mac simultaneously on the same screen. It's a nice feature, but I think I prefer it. Uh, I prefer Windows to have its own space, just like that. Oh, what's it doing now? Oh, it looks like it's gonna take a while. It's checking my disk. She's dead now. Oh, yeah, really. Let's just ignore the blabber. It's my baby. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, and this is my. Mm. Just my safari, really. It's in its own space as well. Oh. You like it? See, even she likes it. Oh, I it. Okay, I think. Um, just about done here. Uh, uh, yes, she's doing the explanation now.